Hi, I'm Cindy from Mediterranean Messy Kits. Mediterranean foods are sometimes a challenge to make, not only because of their complex ingredients, but also because of the techniques often required to make these specialty foods. I was lucky enough to grow up with a mother and grandmothers who made these foods all the time, and I learned right alongside them how to roll grape leaves for yalanchi, how to braid rolls for chud eggs, how to knead dough, and other family recipes. And I want to pass these on to you. I'm going to demonstrate the methods needed to make your own Mediterranean dishes so they will look great and taste delicious too. Good luck and have fun with it. We're going to roll some grape leaves for yalanchi and we've made a nice rice filling that will go in the center of the grape leaves. If you're using bottled grape leaves, you want to prepare them first, rinse them off under clean tap water to get all of the brine off. Then you want to lay them out. You'll notice there's a little stem on one side of the leaf. You want to just with your fingers, snip that off, spread it out and put it on another plate so you'll be ready to roll. You take another one, again, you just snap off the little end, lay it out flat. Every once in a while, you might find a torn leaf, a ripped leaf, and you might think, ew, what do I do with that? That's not such a bad thing because before we cook the grape leaves, after we've rolled them, we need to line your pan with any unbeautiful grape leaves so that your yalan cheese will not burn during cooking. So any torn ones that you might come across, just line them with your into your pan and then you can start rolling, which we will do now. So you want to take one leaf at a time. I usually put it on a little plate, but you can put it on a cutting board or a clean work surface if you, as you want. Put about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of filling on your leaf very carefully roll up the bottom just not even halfway roll in one side fold over the second side and then give it a nice easy roll give it a little squeeze my grandmother always said give it a little squeeze I'm not really sure why I think it's maybe so they don't come apart too much during cooking it makes sense so then take your next one, put your filling in again, roll up the bottom, fold in one side and then the other side and just keep on rolling. Little squeeze and as you start to accumulate a pile of leaves on your plate, you can start putting them in your pan that you've prepared. So just keep going. It's, it's really kind of fun. Um, it's a, sort of a mindless activity once you get going. And um, my mother used to have grape leaf rolling parties at her house every once in a while in anticipation of a big family party. She would make a double batch of grape leaves, which made a million. And then my sisters and I would all gather to her house and sit around her kitchen table and roll grape leaves for an hour or so with all of us. It really made the time very quick and we had so much fun chatting, laughing, catching up with each other as we went. One tip, if you roll these grape leaves and you're not quite ready to cook them yet, or you want to do all of this preparation for an event that's not gonna come up for maybe a week or two, or more. You can take these rolled grape leaves, line them in a single layer on a cookie sheet or parchment paper, put them in the freezer raw like that. Then when you're ready to cook them, you pull them out frozen, layer them in your pan, cover them with the required amount of water with lemon juice and salt, and then cook it and they're just like fresh. Once they're cooked, you can't freeze them. So if you want to save them for another date, you want to freeze them right from the raw state and cook them when you're ready. So that's it. I hope you have fun rolling these leaves and enjoy when they're done. Be well.